Step number five is to install Klaviyo, okay? So Klaviyo is an email marketing app that allows us to recover abandoned carts, okay? Um, and it's very easy to install, very easy to set up, and it's pretty much the benchmark for email marketing using Shopify. So we're gonna set that up now and uh, get that all configured and it's all completely free so you don't have to worry about any costs involved with that app either so let's get that installed now all right lovely so i'm just on the shopify app store again i just went to the visit the shopify app store and i typed in the word clavio and we've got clavio here i'm going to add app okay and then it's going to install the app on our store we go install app. Again, it's free, so we don't have to worry about any cost involved, um, any cost at all. So then we can, uh, it'll ask you to create an account. So I recommend just going through and creating an account. All right. Um, and once you've created an account, you can work from there. All right, lovely. So I've now made a Clavio account and you should have made yours too by making the username and password. It then again just gets you to upload your just your logo and you just go next, next complete. Okay, it's, it's as simple as that. You'll be then presented with this screen here um, and all you need to do to start off with is you just go into flows and you want to turn on all of these, especially your abandoned carts because we want to try and get as many people back as possible so we go into our emails okay we actually go into the flow and we just make sure they're set from manual to live and we do that for all of these um, various flows because they're it's just extra potential money that we can make from our uh, within the business so we can turn all of these on okay customer thank you customer win back Turn these on, turn it on, product review, turn it on, and your welcome series, okay, and you make sure that they're all turned on, and that's all you need to do, okay, it's, it's very simple like that as well. Um, I will also say that I have a Clavio Abandoned Cart template down below. I will link that down below for you as well. So you're gonna have the template for the About Us FAQs as well as a template for uh, Clavio, and we're gonna have some more templates to sort of help you um, in your journey to get started a bit more with your store. Um, but that's all you need to do with Clavio. It's 100% free. You don't need to enter your credit card or anything. And that's all you really need to do to then help with a bit more email marketing so that when you start, you can make some extra money for no additional work. It is as simple as that. All right, so let's move on to the next step. Step number six is to install SMS Bump. Now, this app allows for abandoned cart SMS recovery. It is very powerful for that purpose. Okay, so that's why we use it. Now we have emails. Now we're going to use SMS to help further increase the growth of the business. So let's get into how you do that. And I'm going to give you a template on how you can do that as well. All right, lovely. So... Uh, basically, again, we go onto the Shopify app store and we just type in SMS Bump. It's a very popular, very good app. Okay, and we just install it from here. All right, and we go add app. All right, so that's going to install the app and set it up default for us, make it very simple and very easy. All right, and we just go install app. It's going to have a little quick setup. You need to just put in your mobile number. For those worried about putting in your mobile number, please don't be worried by that. Um, your mobile number is never seen by the customer. It's just part of the setup that SMS Bump needs to actually set up the app for you, okay? It's just a part of the initial setup. Um, and then I'm gonna show you my template that I use and how to install that for your own SMS Bump um, because it gets a really, really good return on investment um, for how much you spend. So it's a very, very good app. So I'm gonna just show, um, go through the quick setup. And then, so yeah, as I said, so you just put in your um, email address you put in um, the it's going to pick up your location and you have to put in your number don't be worried again not shared with anywhere personal phone number in case we need to reach out for an important event related to your account so that's all that's for okay and I would recommend putting in your business email all right that's all that is needed for that and then you're good to go 
So let's get, I'll get into the app and then we'll set up the actual abandoned cart flow. Very, very simple. Okay, lovely. So I'm in SMS Bump actually on a live store um, that I'm actually running right now. You can see I just wanted to show you how much it's made. So it's sent 149 SMSs for 30 clicks for a total of 7,000 there, for 1,500 there, for 250 there, and for 95 there. Okay, and all I do is um, you just you just go edit. Okay, so I send an SMS after five minutes. It is the primary one as you can sort of see. Five minutes, four hours, and then um, and then one day. So what we do is we go down the bottom here and we just change this text. Okay, now I have a template for this, so I'm going to show you this um, a little bit of backstory. You can see here, you know, over six thousand four hundred for four dollars seventy-two. That's how much money this app will make you. It makes money for itself a lot. So after five minutes, I forgot to say sorry, four hours that should be. Uh, we are sorry to see you go return the incomplete order at and that's your abandoned cart checkout. It'll dynamically update that. We got four hours where we offer them a 10% discount code, and I'll show you how to put a discount code in in a moment. Um, and then we got after one day, and we can see that we offer them a 15% discount code of text 15. Okay, text 10, text 15. All right, and that's going to then help to uh, boost your conversions. And you can see these SMSs, you know, can cost five, uh, one, to five cents and you know so spend twenty thirty dollars for nearly ten thousand dollars okay so it can br it'll bring in an absolutely insane amount of money very quick and very easily so let me actually show you how to put this in on a test store now step seven is marketing okay so marketing is one of the most important elements to your business now we've gone through how to set up a store that's very important but you need to know marketing Otherwise, no one's going to know who you are, what you're about. Remember, there's more stores, there's more websites in the world than there are human beings. There are so many websites. So the only way to get people to know who you are is through some form of marketing. Okay, so we've got things such as Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Google ads or Google PPC, people refer to it as, Bing ads. YouTube ads, Pinterest ads, Snapchat ads, TikTok ads, Twitter ads, and influencer marketing. Influencer marketing being Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. Now, I'm pretty well versed in nearly all of these. Um, my main ones are Facebook, Instagram, Google, Bing, YouTube, Pinterest, and influencer marketing. Um, I use a lot of Google, Bing, and YouTube ads, which are very, very undervalued forms of marketing channels that are incredibly profitable. Okay, Snapchat ads is very good as well. Pinterest ads is also very good. Um, TikTok, only done a little bit of testing there. Twitter, I haven't done a huge amount there, but influencer marketing can make a lot of money with the right influencers as well. Today, though, we're just going to be focusing on Facebook and Instagram, okay? We're just going to focus on Facebook and Instagram because we want to keep this very simple for you uh, because they're the best starting point. So we're going to go into Facebook and Instagram ads and influencer um, ads a bit as well to teach you a little bit about influencer marketing to help you uh, for those on a bit more of a budget. But for those out there um, that are wanting to really get their business underway very quick, I would be advising that you mainly use Facebook ads. Um, you have the most control and you can scale your business the highest using these influ uh, using Facebook ads. Um, I should definitely say influencer marketing. You should always be doing influencer marketing, but it requires more upfront research. So let's get a little bit more into each of these now to teach you a bit more of the marketing side of it to start getting your business underway.